mystery of stuff. Unfinished projects and work, such as buildings, roads, and bridges, we sometimes sit for a moment and wonder, why couldn't hundreds of employees with the most advanced materials and machinery finish such a seemingly easy job? Were there some problems in the process? Was it that hard? No matter the excuse, started works are meant to be finished. It takes hard work, time, and willpower, but nothing is impossible for a determined person. Our hero today proves just that. He couldn't care less about any inconvenience and overcame all the obstacles only to finish the work he started and thus keep his promise. This story took place in 1959 in Ke Wangba, a remote village in Gizhou Province, southwest China. After finishing his studies, the 23-year-old Huang Dafa finally returned home. However, what he found there was hunger and poverty. Thanks to the small amount of corn and potatoes that the villagers grew, they can at least save the children from starvation. Unfortunately, this wasn't the only problem. The place had no water supplies as the only available well was gradually drying. It couldn't even provide enough water for drinking and cooking, let alone watering plants or showering. Moreover, the village houses were very shabby and old. They didn't even include the most basic utilities, such as electricity and gas. The roads weren't even paved. Instead, there were only muds and grass. The village looked like it was brought from an ancient, underdeveloped time. Instead of shrugging shoulders and sitting by watching, the 23-year-old boy decided to act quickly to try to change the village's drastic state. He simply couldn't adapt to these condemned conditions anymore. It became his dream to make life a little more easier for his family, friends, and fellow villagers. There are many problems, and the man wanted them all solved starting by providing a source of water to bring electricity building roads. The villagers were so happy to hear what the man was planning. They even elected him to be the village's leader. However, the real work wasn't an easy task at all. The first thing Huang needed to do was search for a water source, and luckily he did. It was located in one of the neighboring settlements. Unfortunately, there was a problem, a big one. It was located on the other side of the colossal mountain. There was no way to build a canal as the villagers were too poor to do so, and the authorities totally refused to fund such a project. Regardless of the constant refusals, Huang visited many government officials to suggest and explain his idea, but to no avail. No one cared about him or bothered to help him. If you think that Huang gave up at this point, you're absolutely mistaken. To keep his promise to the villagers, the man decided to build a canal through the mountain by himself. It was then that Huang's journey through the mountain began. Carrying a pickaxe and some of the most primitive tools, the man started digging the tunnel. As we said before, almost all the villagers supported him and agreed to help him. But once it was time to start working, the man found himself alone one-on-one -on -one with the mountain. Fortunately, he didn't encounter any difficulties in digging the first 100 meters. After that, things began to get complicated as the canal went along the steep side of the mountain. It was very dangerous even to keep his balance. He could have fallen at any moment. After five years, the locals started to notice the results of Huang's hard work and could at last believe that the plan might actually work. The number of people that came to help started to increase, reaching a total of 300 people. For almost 10 years, the canal had already reached 200 meters. Unfortunately, and due to Huang's lack of knowledge, the work of 10 years was in vain. To their disappointment, there was no water ahead. Although the Dug Canal was later used as a shortcut through the mountain, the desired goal wasn't achieved. The failure of 10 years' work would have made anyone give up and lose every hope to dream again. But this wasn't the case for Huang Dafa, who decided to go back to the city. And for what reason? Well, what else other than spending months studying the principles of water supply? After completing his studies, the man returned home again, this time with all the knowledge he needed to pursue his dream. Fortune smiled on Huang for the first time in years. The district administration finally decided to allocate almost $12,000 for the project. Even the poor villagers decided to collaboratively donate an additional two grand. This greatly encouraged Huang to start the whole project from scratch again. The second project began in 1992. Not planning to waste any more years, he made sure that everything is as it should be. No mistakes were allowed. Unlike the last time, Huang and the workers used more advanced tools and equipment 
to make the work easier and faster. In just three years, the team was able to build a massive part of the canal that goes through three mountains, ten hills, and three other villages. In 1995, the canal finally began to function, making things easy for Huang, who was determined to fully achieve his dream. He didn't forget to build roads and bring electricity to his village. He had to keep his promise, and he did. The happy looks of the villagers' faces after seeing all this being done meant everything for him. What Huang did wasn't only helpful for his friends and neighbors in Kawawangba, but it also served other villages as they started to grow rice in vast fields and have extended animal farms and local products to consume and trade with. Around 10,000 people were pleased by what Huang achieved through the years. Even if it had taken many years to be accomplished, at last, many lives have been changed and improved. Kawangba was no longer a poor, neglected village. It is now a place where children can eat well, go to school, and enjoy playing on the paved roads of their beloved village. When first embarked on this journey, Huang never thought that he'd spend the next 36 years working on it. And as he said later, he'd never thought of abandoning his divine mission. However, his devotion cost him a lot. Huang couldn't even say goodbye for the last time to his late daughter. Many family members had died without him even realizing it. The man spent almost his entire life in the mountains working and overseeing the progress. Huang is now 83 years old and still visits the mountains to check if the canal is working properly. Many people thought that he wasted his time and efforts on something that he wasn't obliged to do in the first place, but seeing how Huang talks about the canal, which now bears his name, and the other achievements, you can know just how much he is proud of himself. He found happiness in helping people out, and this is what matters. That's about it. Thanks for watching. If you liked Huang's story, let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.